What's up guys, I'm Shaney, welcome back to my channel, a place where you can find all things self-development, lifestyle and minimalism. If you're into creating ease and simplicity in your life and are on a journey to be a better you, then hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload. This week I'm going to be sharing with you all the supplements that I take that keep me healthy. This is in no way an exhaustive list of supplements you can take, they're just supplements that I take and that work for me. I have suffered with eczema for the last couple of years and I do find that certain supplements and foods that I take do definitely give me relief. So a lot of the supplements that I take are founded around that. I am in no way a doctor or a nutritionist, so if you are experiencing any medical issues or any health issues, I do recommend that you do go see a specialist. All of the supplements that I'll be sharing with you today are ones that I've had a personal benefit from and work for me. These are no way an instructions for you to go and take these same supplements. So before we get into it, I'd like to talk a little bit about prevention over curing. It's important to understand that supplements are not there to make up for or replace an unhealthy diet. They're there to do what they say, which is supplements. Supplement. To give you a little boost when maybe you can't get quite enough minerals or nutrients due to dietary or medical reasons. I eat a plant-based whole foods diet 95% of the time, so my diet is rich and abundant with nutrients and minerals of all different kinds. The supplements I take are to keep me healthy and balanced at times where I may be more susceptible to getting ill, perhaps if I'm around people that are more ill or in environments where there seems to be a high amount of pathogens or bacteria. But it's so much easier to take preventative measures than it is to fix a problem or cure an illness once it arrives. Supplements does not mean that you'll be immune to illness, but it does mean it will reduce your susceptibility to catching a bug or a cold or the flu. I'm all for natural medicine and it's so much easier to take preventative measures than it is to take medicine, feel crap for a little while whilst you're wake waiting for it to kick in and during the term of the medication that you're taking, you're actually doing some really harsh damage to your body. It's a bit of a catch-22, so the medicine does make you feel better, but antibiotics also create an acidic environment. An acidic environment is an environment that sickness and disease thrives in basically. If you don't know much about alkalinity and acidity within the body, I highly recommend you looking it up because it is just mind blowing how the certain foods you eat and the certain things that you consume can either make your body alkaline, which is an environment that health thrives in, or acidic, which is an environment that basically promotes and helps disease and illness thrive. So onto my supplement list. The first supplement I take is B12, which in my opinion is the most important supplement that you can take. If you have a deficiency in B12, then that will lead to a deficiency in other vitamins, neutrals, minerals, etc. So B12 basically helps you to absorb other minerals and nutrients, which as I'm sure you can imagine is vital for healthy functioning. Nowadays our soil is so depleted, we do not get the same minerals and nutrients from our food that we used to. This is mainly due to over farming, over production, pathogens, pathogens, pesticides, etc. that are sprayed all over our food. So there is just a deficiency of B12 from the sources that we consume in general. Most people are deficient in B12, whether they're a vegan, a vegetarian, or a meat eater. As I do have a predominantly plant-based diet, I am extra cautious about the levels of B12 that I have in my body. The easiest or most accessible sources of food or supplements for you to get B12 from is actually meat. So as someone who doesn't consume that, I am very aware that I may need to supplement it elsewhere. I take mine in a liquid tincture form and get it from Amazon. I do buy the vegan safe one so it doesn't have any other nasties in it. It does usually last me about two to three months and it's really quite inexpensive to buy. I think it's about eight pounds. So this is the brand that I use. It's called Nature's Nature Provides Bioactive B12 Pure and Vegan. Um, the reason why I picked this one specifically is, as I said, it is vegan safe, which I would rather. And it also has a dual coenzyme, so I'm going to definitely say this wrong. Methylcobalamin and also adenosylcobalamin. I'll leave a little picture up on the screen so you can actually see that better because obviously I cannot read that. It's just there's too many letters for my mouth to function. But this is the brand I use, so it's just a little dropper. So I'll take it every morning. Um, so I just squeeze a dropper full, so as you can see, it's like a red liquid, and I will just squirt it underneath my tongue leave it there for 30 seconds and then swallow and that's pretty much it and you're good to go. The second supplement I take is zinc sulfate. Liquid zinc sulfate is amazing for boosting the immune system and bolstering white blood cells, which as you can imagine is fantastic for when colds and flu start rearing their ugly heads. Usually I just take this with some water as it's super easy. So when we have viruses in the body, we rapidly use up deep reserves and supplies of zinc really, really fast. So it's really important to keep your zinc levels up. Maintaining healthy levels of zinc 
zinc can help shield you from pathogens and minimizing future exposure to illness. Unfortunately, the more pollution we encounter, the more zinc we lose, and fruits and vegetables these days do not supply this essential mineral anymore. Medical Medium does recommend avoiding liquid zinc, sum, liquid zinc supplements that contain citric acid, natural flavorings, alcohol, and many more toxic substances. Instead, try and search for a clean, high quality liquid zinc sulfate. So the brand that I use is by Lambert's, the professional range. It's called Zincatest Zinc in Solution. Now, it is important that you check that the liquid zinc you're getting is liquid zinc sulfate. So mine actually just says zinc in solution on the front. But if you read the back, it says nutrition information and it says zinc as zinc sulfate. So this is definitely zinc sulfate. This cost me about five pounds and usually lasts me about two months. So I've had this about six weeks and I've got a third of the bottle left. So usually to take it, I just fill half a cap full of zinc and I'll pour it into some water. You can pour it into juice or smoothies or any other liquid that you consume. I personally don't really like the taste of this, so I try to just put it in a little bit of water and shot it. If you have got a cold, Medical Medium does recommend just taking this like a cap full straight to the throat and it's meant to be really good at like sterilizing the throat and killing off the viruses and bacteria. So really cheap brand I'm pretty sure you can also get this on Amazon but it's really great and I do recommend it so the next supplement I'm going to talk about is a personal favorite of mine and that is echinacea echinacea is an amazing immune support it also contains a compound called echinacea which helps protect healthy cells from any bacteria or pathogens that are trying to invade them I usually only take this once a week or daily if I'm feeling like I'm getting ill or I'm around people who are who are also ill and I don't want to catch anything medical medium states due to its powerful immune boosting abilities it's best to only take this for a few days to a few weeks that way you receive the benefits of the immune support but it also protects your system from being overstimulated the brand I use is by a Fogel it's called Echin Echinophor Sakinophor you can actually get Echinacea in loads of different forms you can get them in tablets I think like a spray I just like it in a liquid tincture I just put 10 drops in some water or some orange juice I actually usually mix it in with my zinc solution and just take that in the morning you can give this to children but as long as they're over the age of 12 but the looks that's on the back of this so just bear that in mind if you're thinking about immune support for children i'm not sure if they do have a children's one but you could have a look it's really quite inexpensive i think i paid like seven pounds for this and this does last me a really long time purely because i don't necessarily take it every day with coronavirus going on at the moment i definitely am taking this every day because i need all the immune support that i could possibly get i also take a vitamin d supplement and this is something that i personally take just because intuitively i thought that i had a deficiency so with regards to my eczema whenever i would go on holiday to a sunny country Country, within literally two to three days my eczema would completely clear no matter how severe it was before I arrived so I started to think okay maybe I've got a bit of a vitamin D deficiency being that I'm from a country that isn't known for its sun and is usually quite grey cloudy and overcast it can't hurt to take a vitamin D supplement so that's why I take a vitamin D supplement. It's just an oral spray again. I just put it in the mouth and just leave it there for a couple seconds and then I just swallow it. And finally, the last supplement that I take is curcumin, a natural wonder in the healing world. Curcumin is known for its powerful anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, antioxidative, and antidepressant properties for centuries. Curcumin is the main component in turmeric and has phenomenal anti-cancer properties. It has been known to help combat loads of different types of cancers as well. Turmeric is also a blood purifier, and as I said earlier, it's just an amazing anti-inflammatory. So if you have inflammatory conditions, like for example, eczema is an inflammatory skin condition, or if you have arthritis, for example, curcumin is a fantastic supplement to take. So the brand that I have uh, recently just switched over to is called Your Body. They're a brilliant little UK brand. Natural turmeric and curcumin. So I have noticed since taking this in the last month, whenever I've had a flare up, it has calmed my extra flare ups down a lot quicker than they would usually calm down. I have also had the had a reduced amount of flare up so I know when I eat foods that I shouldn't really eat because it's gonna irritate my skin. The fact that I've been taking this daily has helped like reduce the, the damage that that does so yeah really really great little brand get them online i'll also link their instagram somewhere on this page so the next two things we're going to talk about aren't actually supplements they are foods but i use them like a supplement because i take them daily so the first one is apple and ginger so ginger is great for reducing inflammation and is a powerful immune booster and antibacterial apple is also fantastic at preventing dehydration and cleansing the liver so i take them together as a shot in the morning and it's a fantastic way to wake my body up and get my body starting in the right place both of those ingredients have vital components for anyone who's got an anti-inflammatory condition so as i said before eczema arthritis acne psoriasis anything that is inflammatory or is irritated really easily apple and ginger shot is definitely a fantastic 
natural medicine for you to take in the morning. And finally, the thing that I'm most excited to share with you or to talk about is celery juice. Celery juice is a magical elixir which in my opinion tastes absolutely vile, but its healing properties are genuinely just incredible. Celery juice has been essential in helping me heal my eczema for good. When I say that I have healed so much since I started taking it, I'm still in the process of taking it and I, I'm gonna do a video once I've fully cleared it, which I'm so close to doing, so I'm so excited, but celery juice, I just can't explain its amazing benefits. It's part of the medical medium protocol, so if you would like more information on celery juice, he has actually just released a book called Celery, which is all about celery and its properties and healing benefits, so I definitely would recommend. Otherwise, if you just want something light touch, I'd definitely recommend looking at his Instagram. Um, I'll link that again on, on the screen, like I did earlier in case you missed it. But just to list a few benefits of celery juice for you now. Amazing for fighting autoimmune diseases. Critical for acid reflux helping to restore the adrenals, neutralizing toxins in the liver, and honestly, so many more. Celery juice is to be taken on an empty stomach or at the very least four hours after your last meal or consumption. Once you have consumed the celery juice, it's advised not to eat or drink anything for 30 minutes afterwards, at the very least 15, but I always just go for 30. This is so celery juice can do its thing throughout the body without receiving any interference from stomach acids or just any other foods that could interrupt what the celery juice does. So it needs to be taken completely bland. Don't dilute it with water or iced. Don't put any extra supplements in it, any greens powders. It's literally just pure celery juice and allow it to do its thing. Like I can honestly say that I've experienced like amazing benefits from it, which I will share in another video later on. So that concludes today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And also hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on post notifications so you do not miss an upload, which is every Saturday. You can also find me on Instagram at Shaney Parsons if you'd like to follow me on there. Otherwise, please do let me know if you have any amazing supplements or any natural health remedies that you use that you find are just a miracle cure for you. I'm sure that myself and other members of this community would love to read them. As I always say, this channel is about building a community of like-minded individuals dedicated to growing and learning and sharing their knowledge along the way. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you next week.